Okay, I haven't been making any videos because uh, my phone storage is full and it just will not let me make any videos. That's the way they do me. Since I blew the whistle on 1994 on Lawrence Livermore Laboratory. So we hear a lot of talk about climate change, about weather warfare. I'm glad people are waking up to the weather warfare and what's really going on because I've known this stuff for 30 years. In 94, I had agents of Satan out at our dairy farm when I used a camcorder to film fake UFOs, which is our own technology, coming out of Lawrence Livermore Lab and landing over there and they're cloud, smoke, haze, fog, whatever they want to call it, emanating from out of there. And I put it on the internet and agents of Satan showed up at a dairy farm, confiscated all my poetry and uh, put some people I thought were my friends, uh, uh, spiked my drink and I'm supposed to get committed and go crazy. That's a long story short, but instead I stood and called the name of the Lord and he showed me the future about 2020 what was going to happen with the collapse and what's going to happen after that with the end time message video that I made. So don't be deceived, saints. What's going on here with the chemtrails? They're spraying the chemtrails, but this is the wind turbines are releasing the clouds. Okay, they make the weather reasonably, like I've showed you just around here, the installations that they have here with the wet surface air coolers spewing up their fake clouds, and they do it reasonably like Hurricane Harvey, where it's stalled for a week, and then uh, then they go up and spray the chemtrails. Okay, that's why it's all the weather's being manipulated. Okay, even uh, Zach yesterday said, "Oh, I don't know how they have that technology to bring all that cold air down south." They're not. They're doing it reasonably. Right over the top of Houston, okay? Just like they did the storm. And they continue to move it around, and then they just keep spraying their artificial cover up there, and you can feel it's artificial cold. That's why we got all these new weather terms, and I'm still going to do my weather video. But right now, I just want to make a quick video while I have about four minutes of storage here um, to um, make a prediction. I want to pray for all of you in the name of Jesus Christ to be lifted up. I have some infirmities bothering me, but I don't even want to mention them to give them any power. That They think that they're doing any harm to me because they're not because the Lord protect us all from our enemies every day and confound the enemy and he will have them in derision and Psalm 37 13 my favorite says God laughs at the wicked because he knows their days are numbered that's right their days are numbered so what I want to say is uh, prediction there's a lot of talk about the aliens and weather warfare and I'm really happy people are waking up to the weather warfare be it as it may, with the cue ball psyop, people coming half awake talk, talking to me about, do I know about nanoparticulates and the chemtrails? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you mean the stuff I've been talking about for 30 years, fam? Okay, glad you're waking up. Don't fall for the psyop. Because what's going to happen is Trump's going to be the king of Israel, as I predicted already. Obama's going to play the Antichrist, as I predicted in 2000. 1994, I said, one of the Antichrists will come in 2008. That's him. He's going to play the role. Trump's going to play his role. The Mahdi, the Pope, all the role players on the ground, all the distraction like the weather. And we're going to solve climate change. We're going to bring the cure for the Miley Cyrus virus inside us. You know when that's going to happen? After the collapse of the money, after they use weather warfare, the war and the purge. Uh, then, like this guy in Israel, what's his name? What's this jerk's name? Uh, Amin Ishad said, uh, exposing the negative alien agenda that is a lower timeline, the higher timeline are benevolent ET that are assisting the liberation of Earth. Uh, assisting in the liberation of Earth. Okay, so what I've said is they've scratched the alien invasion because Reagan said all nations would come together if we were faced with an outside threat from aliens. This mass deal has got that. Everyone come together. We're all in this together. Together, except us, God's saints, we're set apart and we consider this world all nothing but dung. Um, Jesus has overcome already. He is the victor. Let's not play the victim. I don't know what the proclivity of the Christians to play the victims is, but uh, I'll never play the victim. So this guy says we're going to be seeing the benevolent ETs probably, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So after the collapse, uh, they're going to say Trump and Israel, and they're going to say Trump's space farce. He's linked up. They were going to invade us, but we're so devastated as humanity. They're coming as benevolent as the enlightened ascended ones, as the Christ consciousness setting up peace and utopia upon the earth. And if you go back and watch, uh, watch Revelation 12 is war, the weather warfare. Um, weather warfare is the alien invasion and America, land of the Christian apologists and devil's advocates. And you'll see everything in this country named after the devil started by the Freemasons. But, where there's no hope in this land, there's no hope for this country, there's no hope for this world, our only hope is in Jesus Christ. So, they're going to say Trump Space Force is escorting in the enlightened beings that they're here finally linking up with us, making the weather to stop climate change, bringing peace and utopia upon the earth, bringing the cure.
okay? And um, what that is, I've told you, is Satan and his fallen angels disguised as angels of light come with lying signs and wonders from the first heaven. That's why God's two witnesses will shut the first heaven so no rain falls for three and a half years because it's the fake rain that they've been making and they've been making it all, okay? To make all the weather. So, um... Okay, we're still on. <laughs> we're still on, Saints. I don't know how much time they're going to cut this phone off. I just made a video that lasted six minutes. And uh, I, I, I deleted it so I can make this one. So um, what they're going to do is they're going to land in, they're going to, they're going to say the enlightened beings are here and they're landing on the Mount of Olives. Because they're going to come imitating, imitating Jesus, but they're not going to say Jesus. I believe they're going to say Yeshua, uh, Yahuwah, Matraya, all kinds of whatever names, depending on where people live in this flat earth. And that's another thing. Anyone talking about the globe? If you're watching Dutch Sense, Casey from Air of the Stars proved to me yesterday he's a shield. When they talk in their cadence like that, they're trained CIA agents, okay? Um, Dutch Sense, who needs to know there's going to be earthquake over there, earthquake over there every day? When the big one comes, we're all going to know it. It's going to be the start of the tribulation, okay? Coming soon to a theater near you in the plasma field theater screen in the sky. And everyone will worship and marvel at the beast, but not us because we're set apart, saints. And we will not be deceived and we will warn many and do exploits for God's glory. And it's going to be a glorious time. So um, I lift you all up in prayer in the name of Jesus. I say, and those for healing, 